Yo, welcome everybody to yet another uh, get together gathering around the campfire for Dragon Quest 11. We call it Dragon Quarantine 11. I was just eating food before this started, so I'm like, <laughs> like spitting it up everywhere. You know, whatever. Today is a real casual stream, okay? You know, I got, I didn't shave, I didn't, uh, my hair's all messed up. It doesn't matter, okay? That's not what we're here. We're not here to, like, appeal to the masses. We're here for the gameplay. And I feel like my voice is kind of going... Ooh, that's not a good sign. But, uh... No, I'm trying to think of... What was, uh... I was, like, yelling or something yesterday. What did I do? Was I recording something? Something was going on. Be, uh, the man's so good at video games, he plays DMC5 on super easy and doesn't use pause combos to show how awesome he truly is. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, playing the way I like to play. I'm having fun. So, uh, yeah. You think I suck? You don't have to watch it. I'm having a blast. I'll, if there was an even easier mode, I would play it. Oh, man. I don't give a shit about difficulty at all. I get dumped on a lot for playing on really easy difficulties, but I am not even in the realm of caring about that. Um, I never have. I really like to... Uh, I really like to explore game worlds and see a cool story and just see all these kind of fun mechanics. I never play... I'm like spitting up food everywhere. I never play for like, ooh, I want this game to kick my ass. I don't care at all. Anyway, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know where I stand. Duncan Chino one. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. 29 months in a row. I'm just spitting food everywhere. This is the most disgusting stream by far yet. Worse than the Christmas cast. Okay. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I just made it to... This is so pathetic. I'm chewing the whole... I mean, this is not even... appropriate. What am I doing? I just keep talking, and, and I've got food in my mouth. I got the new Goku. Ultra Instinct. Autonomous Ultra Instinct came out today. So did, what else came out? Well, these came out like a couple days ago in Japan. They got here fast. Osaka, uh, uh, Nendoroid. These are badass. They both showed up today. Got some more stuff on the way, hopefully. Okay, so uh, where I'm at in the game is I am, uh, all the party members got separated. So I'm slowly but surely gathering everyone back together. I've got almost everyone yet. A couple people I don't. And uh, I just got a harp for my ship to where I could kind of warp around. And I warped back into this uh, snow area. And now I'm going to explore. And maybe those last couple party members will be there. Um, but we don't know the situation. Um, so we're exploring the kingdom to kind of see, okay, is everything cool here we're not really seeing a lot of activity so we're going to check in and see what's up so let's get into it okay disgusting stream i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i look like a mess i'm chewing i'm uh hawking up fucking things all over the place it's awful i'm uh i'm a shit human am i am, is everything going good with the mic i'm not like blowing that out or anything I just want to make sure, because I, I feel like it was a little bit strained before. How are the new Empire Strikes Back Black Series? Good. Really good, except I uh, I got them on Amazon, and they showed up right away. But I had already pre-ordered them forever ago on Hasbro's website, but they've been in limbo forever. Like, they told me like a month ago, hey, we're processing them to ship them. But it's like, it's been a month. Where are they? They're not moving. 
Amazon already got them to me, so I guess whenever Hasbro's get here... Because I was just going to cancel whichever one came first. Or cancel whichever one came last. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh... I'm, can't, I'm just going to send Hasbro's stuff right back. Next next month, there's supposed to be a Boba Fett helmet. Like the one-to-one -one helmet. And it's got like electronics in it and stuff. Mmm. Better believe I'm getting that. Okay. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to forge a item. Now, this is one of my favorite aspects of the game is forging the items. Because it kind of makes a little game out of it. So, um, where is it? Dogged collar. Okay, so I'm going to get the dogged collar and I'm going to, um, I'm going to buy the missing material. Yes. And then we're going to craft it. And I really love this. Okay, so we got to do this. We got to bash this just right. Okay, so we got to hit all the little things in the into the box like we got to get it right the gauge we got to hit the hammer just right so the the gauge fills up but doesn't go too far does that make sense i don't know what we're talking about okay quadra bash so that means i can hit four squares at the same time i'm gonna do it ready boom Ooh, okay let's do another one uh down here boom Ooh, we got a double on the last one okay see so now i gotta hit each one just right you're right, it is like golf. Um, let's do a little, tiny little bash here. Ooh, okay. That's good. Now, ideally, you want it to land right under the diamond. That'd be perfect, but if you're in the zone, you're good. I'm not going to complain about that. That one. Perfect. See? That was a good one. Power of the next strike is doubled. Ooh, so I don't I don't know if I want a double strike on that. Do I? Maybe I do. Let's try it. Perfect. We nailed it. Okay, so we gotta be real delicate with these next ones. Lightning bash, that's a half power bash. I'm gonna try that on this one. Perfect! Oh my god, you guys were acing this. Mike is peeking a little bit. Is it working now? Is the mic uh, working out okay now? Is it is it peeking now? Is it all right? You tell me. Okay. Let's do a couple other lightning bashes. Let's try it. Got to go real, real careful with this. Oh my god. Now, I've got all the gauges pretty much perfect. So, I could get greedy and try that last one and do like half of a half shot. But then I might go over. That would not be good. Now, you know what? I don't think it's worth it. Because I don't think you need all of them perfect. Oh, Grand 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 Drew Gerving uh, just gave a bunch of subs out. Thank you very much. Am I gonna stream Xenoblade Chronicles HD when I get it? Absolutely, I am. Because that's a game I already know the story. I don't, it's not like I, oh I don't want it spoiled or I don't I want to share it for myself. I might play some of it on my own, but I do want to stream it. Hundred percent. Let's appraise this. Yeah, see? They're going to tell me it's perfect. It would turn out brilliant. Let's just do it. We're done. We did it. We nailed it. We did it, guys. Okay, so we're going to equip that now. Mm -hmm. Boom. 
Boom. Okay, got him the dog to call her. I think we're good now. And we're gonna sleep overnight. We did it. We made the iPhone 12. Yeah, that's how Steve Jobs made the iPhone 12 or whatever number when he uh, when he died. iPhone 2, whatever. Okay. I'm determined to beat this game as soon as possible. Because when Xenoblade shows up, I'm going to be ready to play that. Uh-oh. There's nobody around in the town. That's not a good sign. Typically, that's not a good sign. Wait, what did you say? What was the last thing you said? Oh, he wants me to go to the castle. Okay, we're going to the castle. When Zeno come out? May 29th. Can't wait. Our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. Oh, topical. Ooh. Yikes, too soon. I don't know what to think about this now. Okay. Okay, well, let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, please proceed. Okay, this is not looking good. She's sick. Cheer up, your majesty. It might never <laughs> happen. What's got you looking so glum? I love that she's sick or beset by a plague or whatever, and the first advice out of the gate is Rab saying, cheer up. <gasps> Lord Rab, and your friends too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Oh. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. Ooh, it did fall. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. Gold fever? But we survived. What's that now? Gold fever? Yeah, what is gold fever? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. Oh, someone a fucked a bat. A gold bat. started to spread across Sniffelheim. Oh, uh, that's why you can't do that, dude. Animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. Oh, shit. Gold member shit. To gold. Was that the, the premise of that movie? I never saw the third Austin Powers. Was that... We don't know Someone fucked Goldar. <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. one of my poor subjects... Whoops, I sorry. I tried to send for help. But every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. Oh no. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness. Poor Kristalinda. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. Oh no. I have tried to tell my subjects she's innocent, but they simply will not listen. Oh. There, there, your majesty. Then he looks a crestfallen. Oh, thank you. I will let everybody in the city know We're gonna that help. you are here to help. We're gonna... And that they must help you in turn. We're going to help. Mm. We're going to help with this thing. No one's turning into gold on our watch. Gold. Why gold? I love gold. Okay. Uh... Watch Gold Member on a stream. Nah, I think I'm good. 
in the PS4 version, they turned to ice. That's an earlier part. Earlier in the game, they turned to ice. Everything all right? Yes. Mm, not exactly. Oh, not exactly. Sorry. You see, the queen seemed awful sad. Mm. Uh oh, what's going on back there? Ah. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd. Do I have a minute? He asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? Wait, I know you. Uh oh. You're that boy, Eric. You. you know me? <gasps> oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. Oh, she's about to get shot. You're the. <gasps> oh. No. Yep. What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's. it's. She got, got me. She got, Corona, dude. She got that Rona. She got that Rona. This is what it looks like. I saw this happen. I saw this happen. At SFO, dude. I saw this happen to someone at SFO. Mm -hmm. That's what happens, dude. Can't, can't fuck around. Can't fuck around with that. I take it this is a case of gold fever. Yeah, she was wearing a mask. It's horrible. Yeah. You can't just walk around Home Depot with no mask at this point, okay? Oh, he didn't like to see that. I guess squeamish. Are you okay? Eric? I heard the commotion and came running. Oh, okay. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. Oh. Oh, my poor child. Let me molest you in the back. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Don't. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. Yeah, what's going on with Texas? Yardstick, are you talking about Texas? But people were telling me that... People were telling me that... Texas is opening back up. I'm looking in the chat right now. Sorry. Yeah, te oh, you are talking about Texas. It's gonna open up? And they were saying, like, masks aren't gonna be a requirement anymore? Like... Yo, Texas, what are you doing? What's going on with Orange County, Rocco? Uh, well, I haven't been there, but I guess that is also like they're just like not caring about stuff. So that's good. Um, where I live in San Diego, doesn't seem like there's been many cases of anything. I think we've actually been doing a pretty good job. There's been a couple little protests, but they've been kind of pathetic. Lots of people holding signs that say, uh, you know, the the amendment, this amendment says I have freedom, and this amendment says I have free, whatever, and amendment is spelled wrong on every sign. It's always amendment, amendment. So that's always uh, an effective protest. Hmm. Hmm. Check this out. Hello? Yo, what's this one dude doing? Oh, okay. 
guy's just hanging out enjoying the architecture uh oh oh we're going to the back room you are. what's this I dude gonna do to I don't, i'm kind of worried about this it has been five long years since last we met okay i was here five years ago did i used to live here or something yes i remember Not we gave quite. you jesus juice the viking raiders who once the Viking Raiders, my seas, favorite team, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to. And Whoops. when they came, Eric, you came with them. Oh no! I'm Viking. I'm one of the lost Vikings. <sighs> so that is why the man Blizzard abandoned you long ago. Your franchise means nothing. Oh, sorry. You were born over. here, a Viking. Ooh. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, oh. took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. Oh, no. And though the Vikings oh, returned... Eric never did. Oh, man. Stop. Collaborate and listen. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said oh. stop! Oh. He ain't having this, man. Uh, I need to be alone for a while. Forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much. So it was food. tactless. I, I can't Please disagree with go that. To your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Yeah, I bet. Spotlight. Watch that movie. Spotlight. Is there going to be Spotlight DLC for this fucking game or what? All right. Rocco, can you comment on Sean not having AC in his house, even though he lives in SD? He mentioned that while streaming today. Dude, I, that's beyond me. I, I could not. That is like priority one for me. I would not live anywhere that didn't have a damn AC. I'd be fixing that shit immediately. I got the AC cranked here. Eh, it could be cooler, but I got it. I got it going. Um... No, I don't think... I don't know if he has it in his house. I know he doesn't have it in that garage area. But, uh... You know, so maybe that is what he meant. But I, I don't know if he has it in his house. But a lot of my friends don't. It's funny because if you go to Texas, you're pretty much a lunatic if you don't have that in your house. It wouldn't even happen. But... Here in California, it's kind of like in the middle ground where it's like, Oh, you don't really need AC. Oh, shit, now you do. And, and so a lot of places just don't have it. Headed to the western gate. Oh, I better head there. Mm -hmm. Poor guy lost his marbles. What are they doing? You want me to talk to a horse? Where is this guy? Oh, he, oh cute sheep. Oh god, I gotta talk with a guy with a shovel. Running through the He had a face like thunder. He went through the gate where? Here? Wait, what was that on the ground? Rabbits? Can I do anything with these? No. Yo, homie, where are you? Oh, he's got to look out at the ocean and solve all his problems. He's got to just 
take it in and, you know, think about life. He's just letting the air hit his face, you know? Huh? Letting the wind just hey, take its course. I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just... What was that? Huh. It's a dock. Uh-oh, a boat. Oh, it's a Is that It's a boat with a bunch of gold skeletons. <laughs> what? Ship. If the town's people's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. This is not good, guys. I don't think they want that boat here. Shit. Oh no, it's the gold boys. I hate these guys. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Gildiga. Gildiga. Come on, you clattering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. Oh man, I hate these guys. We're gonna have to take these guys down. Oh, wait, do I have to talk to homeboy? Oh, hurry to the harbor. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so he just told me to get ready at the campsite, so something's about to go down. I think I've already done that, though. I'm good. I'm prepared. Actually, let me just make sure. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We can just do it. Let's just do it. Ooh, they locked the door. Okay, well, I'm, I'll go this way. Don't mind me, guys. Bunch of gold people. Oh, these guys all have corona and they don't care. This gold, this ship of gold people, they're all the uh, quarantine protesters. And they think their shit is gold and they spread it to everybody. The monsters are making away with the people who were. Oh no, the monsters think that the virus is a hoax. They read it on Facebook. Could the fever be they doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiga, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Okay. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend. Yeah, cease your boastful you blustering, dude. The peace of this fair nation. Huh. You think you can stop us? Feeble it's my amendment no, to turn shit feeble. gold. I agree. The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Yeah. Oh, Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Alright. Let's take him down. Everyone's following orders. Okay, good. Let's do a... Oh, she can't... Uh... Oh, it's only one group at a time that she can do that. Damn. Okay. Hmm. We'll hit guild riches. 
<laughs> Hit it with her ass. Oh, damn, it didn't work. Oh! Okay. Damn, they separated them, so I can't hit them all as one group. This sucks. All right, let's just get rid of these weak guys first. Boom. Oh, I'm all pepped up. I'm all pepped up. Let's get some pep powers going. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Screw it. Quadra Slash, bro. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Quadra Slash. And you know what he's going to do? How about the little visit to the pearly gates? Get rid of that guy. Ass right to the face. Not a bad way to go. Am I... Okay. This guy's still... Well, I'll just do a regular attack and see how that goes. Oh, come on. That should have come Oh, you really, really, you blocked that? Now she's pepped up. Hope you like it. Hope you like it. Buff, buff. A sauce fuel. Ooh, I got to do that in the next one. Next fight, I want to see what buff, buff looks like. Because I know what, I know what puff, puff is. What's, what's buff, buff? We got to know. We got to find out. I'm just saying. We gotta know. We gotta know. Oh, more gold dudes. Their companions are fleeing. After them. Over there. They took Eric? Eric! They've got Eric! I didn't want to hear the oh my gosh, oh my god. They must be stopped. Quickly. Ooh. <laughs> we were too slow. Oh, Eric. Now she sounded like she was really uh, torn to bits about that. <laughs> oh no, we were too slow. Oh, Eric. We could have been faster. Oh dear, we've just plum rot out of time if only we had a spot more time we are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now where's oh bother priest? he'll know where they've taken him yeah where's the priest <sighs> they've seen enough boys kidnapped in their lives they'll know okay I just got my Mega 64 skate deck finished and it's nice. AF. Oh, nice AF, you say. Oh, 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 wow. I love those skate decks. I I'm assuming you're talking about the one we did for Black Friday. That one, I, I think that's like one of my favorite any kind of design we've had. I really like it. Um. Okay, so they want me to find the priest. I presume. Wait, is he... Was he outside the gates? The priest... Yeah, the priest might be back where I left him, actually. Okay, well, we'll just head back there, then. Ooh, no, I don't want to go in there.
Let's have a, have a bit of a rest first. Alright, where's my youth pastor? There we go. I am sorry. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Oh, it's okay. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. Yeah. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? Yeah, it's really good. He is Oli, you are Sven. But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession. Yeah, that was weird. They headed straight for him. Yeah, it's almost like they knew who he was. Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in. You know, I had the very same thought. What thought? What, yes. what is the thought? You gotta share the thought. I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? Yeah, you gotta tell me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Those gold hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. The way they moved, acted, talked. Oh, the fact that no. they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. Oh, no. Okay, so the Viking base is in a cave just around the coast to the west. So, do they want me to sail away just around the coast to the west? Do they want me to sail away? Around the coast sounds like they want me to sail on a boat. I'm going to sail on a boat. But let's check these stores first. Let's see if there's any good stuff to buy. Because we got to get our shopping on, you know. See if they got any good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, Malevolash. Oh, okay. That's a cool sounding whip. Okay. Dragon Tail Whip. Okay. The text is kind of small on the screen that I'm looking at. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make it a little bigger. Doesn't matter for you guys at home. But man, it makes a difference here. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Malevolash. Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Boom. Okay, what else we got? Paladin's Lance. Ooh. 
a very uh, pr a very powerful spear, and uh, Jade definitely could use a better spear because currently her sucks. Oh, and a staff for for Rab too. Ooh, I might have to I might have to get in on that. Let's do it. Hey, you only live once, you know. <laughs> We're going to equip that. And a sage's staff for... Yeah. We'll equip that for Rab. Boom. Yes. Great. Eric's not in the party, so I can't buy I can't buy a damn thing for him. There isn't like a new cool axe here or anything. I'm surprised. It's weird. Let's sell the stuff we don't need. Okay. Um, let's who do I just equip? Okay, Jade. We don't need her. What is what was the weapon she had before? Lightning Lance? We don't need that. Do we? No. staff don't need a shiver stick demon whip I don't need that Okay, so now let's check the armor. It's got to be some cool armor here that we want to buy. Has to be. Okay. Ooh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay. Wait, what? Garter? Leggy lingerie that's sure to raise an eyebrow or two? Make sure nobody's in the looking. Okay. Wait, what? Is that better? Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's way better stats on this flowing dress. Oh, man, but I... I wanted to buy the garter. Oh, man, this sucks. Silk Bustier, a skimpy little number spun from the finest fibers? What is this game trying to do to me? The game is horny. Okay. I am going to get the garter. It's much cheaper. And cooler. You know, it's just cooler. And then what else will I buy? I can get... Um, I'll get a mithril helm. Couple. Oh, maybe just one. Maybe just one. That's expensive. Oh, or a minister's mitre. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's do it. Let's 
Oh, it's an accessory. Oh, it's an accessory, not a thing. Well, we'll still have her wear it. I mean, that's good. I read that completely wrong. Okay, so... Damn, well, let's get... We gotta do something for someone else, too. Let's get, like, the Minister's Mitre for Rab. That might be good. Harry Vest? What the hell's wrong with these people? Yeah, we'll do the Minister's Mitre. Boom. Chat, y'all prefer lightly toasted or really crunchy toast? Okay, I'm gonna chime in on this. Let me chime in on the on the big screen here. Okay. You gotta go lightly, but not too light. You can't fuck up. I mean you can, but don't lightly toasted but don't go too lightly because when it's too lightly and it's like oh okay it's kind of bread you know but yeah cr cr crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside you want to get the perfect ratio it's hard but if it's a little more toasted just butter it up good enough that it doesn't matter it makes the whole thing soft anyway you can't have enough butter and a doctor said that I heard a doctor say that doctor uh doctor shit all right <laughs> okay, uh, we got that. Anything else we want to buy while we're here? I mean, any any other good stuff? Well, I mean, we're, we're already in the store. Mm -hmm. No, not Dr. Ryan. Trust me, Dr. Shit and Dr. Ryan are definitely two different people. Dr. Scrape, maybe. Okay. Maybe let's sell, let's sell a couple things if we can. Magical hat. I don't need a fucking magical hat anymore. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, so Daft... I heard about that. Yeah, Daft Punk is scoring Dario Argento's new movie. I've never seen a movie by that guy. This will definitely be my first. No question about it. Whatever, I'm just gonna move on. We bought enough armor. Okay, boats at the very end. I think we can make that happen. Yup. Do I know about George Lucas' involvement with The Godfather? Well, I, I mean, him and Coppola were great friends, and I know that George Lucas edited that one montage part with all the newspapers and about all the killings and stuff. He, he edited that. I always thought that was cool. I had lunch once in the... There's a restaurant at the base of the building that Coppola owns where he edited that sequence, like, right above. thought that was cool. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, we can't get around the gold. If I get caves next to Sniffleheim. Okay. Yeah, let's disembark. Let's get these Vikings. I'm over these. Whoa, sorry. I'm over these Vikings. I'm over it. Turn. 
Yeah, it looks like a Viking hideout, all right. Do I know any backstage info about 2001 A Space Odyssey? Um, yeah, I got a lot of backstage info. There was a lot of boxes back there. Some crates. I found a mini metal! I love that it made a sound. Ooh, we got a place to save. Something's gonna go down here. Ooh, and it cured me too. I'm about to fight something, I'll tell you that right now. No, I don't want to... No, I'm done. Goodbye. There's those gold assholes again, I'm telling you. By the way, guys, I don't want to talk over this cutscene. Whoops. Boss has been after him for a long time. Guys, I want to say real quick, if you like the streams that we've been doing, Sean did a stream earlier. You might want to check the archives uh, on Twitch if you missed it, but uh, he did a uh, stream from his garage where he kind of went through some of the rare artifacts that he has in there. And I'm doing this, and we're trying to do a stream every day. I think we missed one Saturday, and I'm, I'm bummed about that, but in general, we've been doing them every day. If you like the streams, you know... As always, you get a free sub every month from uh, Amazon Prime. If you have an, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free, free Twitch, Twitch sub. They call it Twitch Prime. So uh, if you've never done it, go ahead and just click the button, Twitch Prime. Hit the button. You get a sub on our channel for the month. Uh, you know, you get all the all the wackadoo stuff. We're happy. You're happy. So go ahead and uh, do that. Do us a favor. Do us a flavor and do that. Go in and try to save Eric from monsters. Yikes. Uh, so do that. Also check out patreon.com slash mega64. Um, we've been adding a ton of new videos there. We just put out another friend of engine last night. We played Fibbage 2. So we had a big competition for who was the biggest liar. Um, something I truly excel at. And, um, you know, stuff on there. Um, and shop.mega64.com. We got pre-orders still up for the, uh, B, uh, sorry, Robo Baller 64 shirt and the Legendary Journey shirt. Okay, I am going to... Uh, is there an OnlyFans for Mega64? There is, but you'll, you have to find it yourself. And it's just my ass. That's it. That's all it is. And we couldn't justify promoting it. We couldn't. Because it's such a dark and depressing state. It's uh, truly paralyzing. And I didn't want to do it, and no one wanted it. So it was lose-lose. Thank you, Grand Drew Gerving. He, he gifted a sub... You've done six subs today, so thank you for that. Anyway, uh, guys, I'm going to step aside for one second. I need to grab uh, something. And uh, well, actually, I'm being asked about something, so I'm going to tend to that real quick. I'm going to step aside for one second, freshen up and all that. Give me one second, and I'll be right back. This is like intermission 
So uh, enjoy the music and uh, debate if you want me to go in and fight the monsters or not. Take a look at the dialogue and let me know. Let me know what you think. Okay, everybody. Whoops. Sorry about that. Apologize for that. Tending to a few things. A lot of uh, failures in infrastructure happening in San Diego. We got internet issues. Hopefully it's not affecting the stream too much, but we had some across town trying to upload things to each other. That ain't working. Got some personal stuff I got to tend to. Also, I am uh, I am remastering a lot of old videos, old episodes, things like that in the downtime we have here. Do I have a long way to go, Super Smash Snake? I mean, I know I'm not almost done, but do I have a long way to go? Because I will say, I, I'm really loving this game, but man, it is long. I'm kind of surprised. And here's my fa here's my fear. Let me, let me tell you my fear. My fear is that, whoops. My fear is that I'm going to burn myself out on a, on a long JRPG before Xenoblade comes out. And I'm so excited to play that. I don't want to get into it and then be like, oh man, I got to play something else. Because that's how I am. I can't play a lot of the same game. I can't play a lot of the same game in a row you know what i mean like i can't play all the mario games in a row like i gotta play mario game and then go play final fantasy and then go play 
Street Fighter and then go play Parappa. You know, I can't play... Um, I just... I don't know. Some games can be too long. I, I don't know. I, I can't say this is too long because I've been really loving it. But also, like, I don't think games need to be 100 hours. Like, I, I don't ever really feel like, yeah, I'm glad that was 100 hours. No, I never played Persona 5. Yeah, and that's what I'm kind of with Death Flips. I can only play one big RPG a year. I kind of get that way. I get mentally, like, drained if I play too much of the same thing. And that's no diss to this game. That's just my brain. My brain can only hold so much of a certain thing. So, uh... I'm, you're saying I'm halfway through Act 2? How many acts are there? And I'm definitely not tired of DQ11. I'm just worried that when Xenoblade comes out, I'm going to be burned. Like, ooh, can't play this right now. You know what I mean? I guess that's what my fear is. But I'm enjoying this game. I'm not definitely not disliking this game at all. Let's go save Eric from the monsters. Is it three acts? I'm really hoping you're going to say three acts. What are you doing here? Wait, I know you. You're that rotten luminary. Oh, I'm that rotten luminary you love so much. Right, Chief. He looks just like the picture on the wanty poster. Yep. I'll run up to the Gilded Hall and let the boss know he's here. Oh. Oh, wait, everyone while I was gone decided I shouldn't go in? Oh, this sucks. I totally disobeyed. I can't say I'm not jealous. This is no time for jokes, Sylvando. Yeah, no time for jokes, Sylvando. Shut up. <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder? Ooh. Chief, just imagine the reward you'd get if you took in the luminary's head on a platter. Oh. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Oh, they're going to try to kill me. Gilden Bridges? Is that really what they're called? Okay. Let's get some pep power. Oh, we got buff buff, dude. I gotta see what Buff Buff is. We're gonna have to do it to somebody. Let's do it to Gildan Riches. Let's see what it is. It's, is it gonna be like a Puff Puff, but it, like a butt version? That's totally what's happening. Wait, is it? Oh, and he got, oh, and he got all horny. Look. He got all horned up, and that's why he struck fast. Wow, that did some damage. That's totally what happened. That's totally what happened. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Quadra Slash. <laughs> Boom. Axes of Evil. Boom. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Time to open up the pearly gates. I love you, Penny. I've always loved you. Hey. Super Smash Snake, how did Butterfinger screw you on your Tifa PS PlayStation theme? I got mine. Dude, I, I enjoyed a crispy, crunchy Butterfinger. And uh, Tifa's boobs covering all my game selections on the menu. So, like, I won four times. Because he had to buy two Butterfingers. Okay. Did you guys decide on a quarantine song yet? Yes. We came to an important decision. We will announce it on Thursday. Uh, but we, I think we found, I think we found 
a uh, solution and a, and a, came to a decision that everyone will be happy with. CVS didn't put the date on it? That's total crap. Yeah, you gotta go Walgreens, dude. That's where I got mine. Walgreens, they did it just right. Yeah, taking a picture of the receipt is the most backwards thing I've ever seen. I do not understand why they did that. You hate Butterfingers? Dude, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Can't get with that. Can't get with that. Can't get with that. I'm sorry. Dude, a Butterfinger sounds so good right now. Dead. Walgreens has Black Series figures too. Dude, my Walgreens is supposed to have all these like exclusive figures and like, oh, they've got a good selection of Star Wars Black Series and Power Rangers, uh, you know, Lightning Collection. It's dude, my Walgreens doesn't have jack shit. The toy section is like fucking Rebel Hoth Trooper from 1997 and like a. a, a yeah. A blue centurion figure with no head from 2002 you know i mean it is seriously like the walgreens figure selection in my town looks like the fucking petting zoo just like rummaged through the whole fucking thing like it, it's 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 like dirty and there's no supply it looks like a it looks like pigeons made it as the, made it into their home it looks like uh there's uh dust and shit everywhere it looks like um um, try to think of what else it looks like. Looks like uh, looks like someone ransacked the store. Um, yeah, they don't have any figures. Let's check our skill points to see if there's anything fun we can do. Cy Safe Cypher Roth says that you like my FF7 review. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, you know what? I liked it too. Actually, I don't because let me tell you, I feel like I fouled that up. I was just coming off of that insane ending. <laughs> Not going to go into it, but that game has a pretty crazy ending. And I feel like I kind of uh, voiced a lot of concerns about that, but I don't feel like I talked enough about the stuff that I liked because there were really cool things in that game, things I didn't expect them to deliver on. Um, and uh, yeah, I wish I would have spent a little more time on the stuff I loved. I did spend some time. So it wasn't all for nothing, but it kind of bugs me. I, I feel like I sounded more negative than I wanted to, and it was just kind of annoying. Hendrick, ooh, what do you got? <laughs> what was he going to do? Blind Man's Biff. Now that's a great attack name. Blind Man's Biff. Increases defense. Yeah, let's increase the defense. That sounds good. Okay, what else we got? Okay, I'm going to save my points for him. That was Sorry a monster. I thought there was going to be more monsters. There, they didn't hurt Wait, they called for the boss, didn't they? There's a big boss well, coming. Safe now. Let's head back to Sniffleheim. Hi. Hey. Something is still not right. Uh -oh. Eric, what did those fiends do to you? Show me where they touched you. Um, 
Rocco, I was thinking of getting a Disney pass when the COVID stuff blows over. Which do you think is the best value or the best in general? Well, to me, it comes down to how often are you going to go? Because for me, it's a pit stop between here and L.A. And I go to L.A. all the time. So for me, it made sense to get I didn't get the top one because the top one at this point, the very top one. All it does is it has uh, there's there's the two the two at the top the very top one you can go any day of the year and the one below that all you all you have to all, all you are locked out of is like the last two weeks of December who cares just don't go those two weeks and you save hundreds so I think that they do that just so people actually don't go during that time because it's already busy enough so I got this I got the second highest one there, it's basically the highest pass is broken into two and I got that one. I don't go during Christmas. And um, I think and I think that one has free parking. Um, you know, so it's a lot more expensive to do that. But for me to park every time, it, I mean, it's 25 bucks to park there. So to do that every single time I stopped by there at just for a pit stop was not really feasible to me. So, uh, it depends if you're going to go really often, like multiple times a month or whatever, it's worth getting that. If you're not, I would look into, uh, I think a good balance is the deluxe pass because it has a pretty good amount of dates on it, but you're not paying for the parking and you're not, you know, I don't know. Do I have a favorite lot to park in? This is probably pretty boring to anybody who isn't a California resident. Resident, but they have the big parking structure. I think generally I like parking there because it's covered, and then the, you you hop in a little tram and they take you. But sometimes that place is kind of hopping and busy. There's a parking lot way down the way called the Toy Story lot. And you hop on that and they put you in a bus, but that bus takes you right up to the front gate. That's kind of, I kind of like that. And during, uh, when, when all the star Wars stuff opened, everyone was fighting to get in the parking structure over here. Oh my God. Oh, we got to park in the Mickey and friends parking structure. We got to get in there. We got to get in there. Meanwhile, everyone was in gridlock over there. I was parking at the toy story lot down the street and there was no one there. There was a guy, uh, pulling his pud and eating an egg sandwich. That's it. So he's there. I hopped on the bus. It took me to the front gate while everybody else was in gridlock at the parking structure, you know? So uh, don't underestimate the Toy Story lot. But then there's like a third one or something, too. And if they put you there, uh, you you eat, you eat shit, basically. You should just go home. Parking at Magic Kingdom is a huge pain in the ass. I've never done that. I've only flown into those places, but... I was here, and they were, yeah. Good descriptor. I've got to go. Oh, poor, uh, poor boy has to shit. He forgot how. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to go. He's going to duty. He's going to he's gonna pinch one off. What oh, my God. What was that about? Hmm? Didn't they say there was a boss? Yeah, I hope he has TP. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Yeah, see, Toy Story is the most underrated parking lot, isn't it? Mush, mustache Doctor, is that really your name? Um, yeah, it, it gets less. It's kind of less busy, and they've enhanced it quite a bit. It's a pretty nice place to park. Isn't that exciting, guys? Talking about parking lots. Well, this is a little like tiger little dude. I'm not gonna fight him. I'm just going on this way. What happened? So we're gonna look for something to jog his memory. Okay. Oh, that ought to do it. Touch the root, bro. Flashback of him as a oh. kid. What's the matter, Runt? Tired? It... Uh. Uh. 
Thank you, Stackamus, for the nice words about the you got a problem, boy. the music review, uh, the Mega Sixty Quarantine music uh, theme song contest. You freezing in that snowfield. You owe us your lives. So how about you start showing us some respect? Yeah. Y yes, Chief. <sighs> Hmm. hmm. This guy doesn't seem very grateful. In trouble again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? Who's this? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? What? Who's her? Who? What? what? <laughs> Who's this? Hey, Mia. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big fat guts as much as you do. <gasps> Shh. Oh. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Yeah, it really is Bulma, isn't it? <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. <laughs> Make me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's gonna beat the shit out of her. Is what I got from that staging. Oh, sure enough. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the help, Mia. Oh, stop moaning, will you? If you keep being horrible to me... Yeah, hand on his coin purse. Exactly. I, I know. I read into that, too. Yikes. Oh, not that again. One of these days, we're going to get our hands on a whole pile of treasure. <laughs> Forget a pile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're hungry. Oh, they're first hungry. Oh, first. no. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I skipped that. They want to get something to eat. That's what they said. <laughs> I read fast. Sorry. Sometimes I just... If we Zip had right wings, ahead. We could fly away from here. If you had Wherever wings, you could be anything. You could go go anywhere and fly anywhere. If you had wings, if you had wings, if you had wings, had wings, had wings. Uh, what thank you, uh, fine? Pub Waffle, for the kind you words. Be anywhere on an empty oh, stomach. you just bought the sunglasses, you know and uh, you're doing Patreon. Thing. Thank you very much. Dinner. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words on the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> These guys like to giggle. Are you guys? Are you what? Are you gonna buy the Darth Maul lightsaber parts at Galaxy's Edge when it reopens? Are you kidding? I'm counting the seconds. And by the way, somebody brought up in the chat earlier, do you hear it might not open until 2021? This has been so annoying. No, hold on. I got to go full. I got to go full Monty on this one. That was one quote from one like banking investor or like analyst guy. And they wrote like a hundred articles. It was one quote from one guy. Yeah, maybe they won't open until next year. That's it. No one at the company has said that. No one. Um, oh, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at Garrett, uh, Victor. I'm not mad at you. It, but it's insane how every news publication has had this huge cover story about this. That it's like one dude said it. It's crazy. In the same week, I saw that happen. And uh, I was listening to on the radio. There was the Howard Stern show. Paul McCartney came on and they asked him all right what was better you the beatles or the rolling stones and he's like well you know the beatles had this but the rolling stones were really good they they were like that but the that's why the beatles are better like he made a joke and that was every article too there were a million articles paul says beatles were always better i mean he was making a joke um i saw all these things across the week and it was just kind of like Dude, the news needs to chill. Like, people need those clicks bad, I guess, man. It's pretty crushing. And uh, I'm not yell. I'm not by any means upset that you brought that up. I think it's the news that is just so, like, 
yo, dude, they'll, they'll write a whole thing based on one nugget of something. And that was one analyst saying it might not open for a year. So it's it really drove me crazy. Anyway, as for what I think, here's what I think. Here's what I think is going to happen. If you're asking my opinion, maybe you are. If you're not, you know, watch something else for a minute. But I think what's going to happen is What's that noise? I think you will see them open this year. I don't think it will be nothing until next year. I think they want to literally do anything but just have the parks sit there empty with nothing going on. But I don't think it will be normal at all. Like, like maybe next year it will be normal. I think you will see it. I think summer is off the table. I think summer is going to look bad. Like, whoa, you guys are already opening, you know, or, or, uh, is that really the smartest thing? Cause they're kind of, la- they're kind of one of the last things on the list to open, you know, it, because it's not something we need. I mean, we want it to open, but it's not something we need that I would say theme parks and concerts are like kind of low on the list. Um, so what I think will happen is I think summer people are too many people are going to be looking at them like "Mm, what are you doing it won't feel like the right thing to do morally i think you will start but people lose interest i'm not saying this is good but people lose interest and stuff even now you're noticing a lot more people kind of like people who are really scared about coronavirus and scared about what could happen they're already starting not not consciously there's some people who are consciously like yeah protest i don't want to be locked inside anymore okay that's that's something else but there are people who are unconsciously subconsciously whatever you want to say starting to lighten up on this they're going ah fuck it i'll go to the store ah whatever i'll I'll come do this thing if you really want me to come over and bring you this thing i'll do it do you guys want to we, we can play, I'll come over to play video games this weekend. I'll just sit far away from you. You know, it's starting to, people are already kind of like tuning out. I'm not saying that's good, but that happens. I think people don't have the ability to hang on to something at the same level for so long. People are like going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 And, and I think people will just <laughs> kind of let the, yeah, let their guards down. Um, I'm starting to see that a little bit. I think April is the month that we were told like, oh man, you better, you know, batten down the hatches. April's going to be bad. And I think a lot of people did good in April. I, th- I mean, I'm, I'm speaking for California. I don't know how it is for you guys, but here in California, I think people did an excellent job, you know, locking themselves in. Um, I think, you know, our numbers were relatively good. Um, you know, it sounds like people did did the job. But I knew when they were when they were talking about oh April, hang in there for April. Let's make it through. We get, April's going to be hell month. We got to make it through. As I was hearing all that at the end of March, I remember thinking people are. I think people are willing to 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 hold it down in April, but they're not. They're going to be back in May. They're going to be because because you you can only put that in. Oh yeah, all my focus is on staying right here. You can only do that so long, and people just lose interest. That's how people are. They just forget. They just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's going to be people tweeting about, oh, it's it's too soon. My, my grandmother just got it. Don't tell me it's time to go out. It's not. It's too soon. And people are going to retweet that and go, see, it is horrible. They're going to retweet it, but then they're still going to go to, you know. Well, my friend's having a party at this thing. Uh, it's okay. I, everyone there's fine. You know, they're just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> they're just gonna do it they're gonna go yeah you know they'll they'll retweet stuff to to like yeah it is messed up people should be more careful but i i trust my friends i'm gonna go hang out with them we'll, we're, we're gonna go to the beach you know i don't mean to sound like i'm really not trying to sound like a downer um i think um i just think people will people do that i think there's only so much people can tolerate that there's there's a group of people that want us to like get back to work right now this second like ignore everything and just do it that's they're over here and then there's a group over here that's like you know we got to do we we might be doing this for two years we got to stay in inside for two years and make sure this is gone and or or at least 18 months until we have a vaccine 
I think both of those groups are about to realize they're not going to win. <laughs> I think they're both going to realize, uh, I don't think I'm going to get what I want here. Because we can't just rush into this stuff, but I, I also don't think people are going to tolerate, you know, no no going to a movie until 2022. I think people are just going to go, yeah, 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 and, and move on. Not saying it's good, but I just, that's what I see happening. Um, did I see the clips of the mayor of Las Vegas? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it's always good to tell everyone to do something and then have no plan <laughs> to do it. But anyway, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. But I do think big events are going to be uh, considered not, um, you know, morally okay to do. You know what I mean? This summer, maybe people will decide, okay, I can meet with a few friends at the beach, you know, and we'll stay away from people. I think people will, will still be conscious of that stuff. I don't think people are going to go, ah, and not pay attention to anything. I see. I think you'll see a lot of masks, a lot of gloves, you know, and, and people will still kind of keep their distance and be safe. Cons and uh, concerts are not going to happen. I mean, that might not be the, for the rest of the year. Because again, I don't I don't think the, the state... I'm, again, I'm speaking for California. I don't know what everybody else is going to do, but I don't think they're going to be, it's going to be viewed as really, you know, insensitive and unsafe. So I don't think that's going to happen, but I think you'll have more people going out and doing stuff in general. Conventions won't, I think conventions and concerts are done this year. I do think those are done this year. I think it's a wash on those. They're saying PAX isn't canceled. I don't think they can cancel it until it gets closer because if they canceled it now, I don't think like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. I, I think I don't think it's unwise to wait and see what happens. But I, I, I personally, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know if cons are dead for two or three years, but I think this year it's it's going to be seen as like, don't do it, don't do it. Game day is happening. I don't know. I mean, that's definitely not a seventy thousand person event. But what's Disneyland going to be like? You know what I mean? You know, it's just, what's the climate going to be like? And honestly, truthfully, to do that event, we have to book that stuff now. I mean, by now, normally we would have already booked it. And it's all just kind of... I mean, we've had talks with the, with the venue. You know, they, they are, uh, I mean, almost everyone we knew there was laid off, <laughs> but we're having some conversations with like having that event. But what do you guys think? I mean, again, like I want it to happen too, just like you, but if you have to book it right now and put them, if we had to put the money down to do the event or put, put yourself in our shoes and you had to put down all this money to make this event happen, could you justify it right now? handing over all this money to like is it gonna you know what I mean it just feels like awkward it's just like uh, and I think that's where a lot of things are right now is it's just kind of like uh are we doing this like what's good you know I, I just think that the ripple of the main you know of the of this whole event is gonna go out quite a bit so I, I don't know maybe by the time November rolls around it'll be totally fine but it's hard to like set that in stone now you know what I mean? Like, I would hate to do that. And then it's like, sorry, it's not happening. You know, it, it, it sucks. The whole thing sucks. People were saying 2016 sucked. Okay, what happened? People were mad about Trump. Okay, and um, uh, celebrities died. And it was like, this is the worst year ever. Okay, this year started off with curry house in LA closed. So let's, let's just get that out of the way. That's, that's worse than almost everything, but we had the virus. We had all these, uh, I mean, everything we would have ever wanted to do is canceled or just blown up in some way, but I'm really burned about curry house, man. That's really kind of the main takeaway here is curry house was like, God, I used to get, they had really good tonkatsu with curry, but the uh, they had, you could order wiener with curry and it was essentially that a big wiener. God. 
was awesome with rice and curry. Yeah, there was a WW th a World War Three scare. It's terrifying, man. And I agree. Uh, I still had a bad 2016. Don't get me wrong. My family's dogs both died young for totally different reasons. They both passed away. So, yeah, that year can go fuck itself. I'm not saying 2016 was a good year, but I'm saying this one has been a roller coaster and it's April. Again, not not being a bummer, not being a bummer, but crazy, right? It's just crazy. Yeah, and Kim Kim Jong Un. What's going on with him? Yeah, I wanted to go to Curry House with all kinds of friends from Anime Expo. I wanted to go to uh, Korean barbecue with all my friends. I wanted to do all that stuff, and it's just all gutted. The whole thing is gutted. It just sucks, you know. But again, I'm reflecting on that. I have nothing to really complain about. I mean, I do. I'm bummed about all this stuff, and I want to book this event and get it all good for you guys to to be there and all that. I want everything to work out, but it's out of my control, and that does suck. But I should not complain. I am still working. You guys are showing up for the stream. I mean, this is all the sappy stuff I always say, but I am still working. I've been working just like any other day. A lot of people cannot say that. Um, we've all been hanging in there, and uh, it's been a lot harder for other people. So I got no room to bitch about anything. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I'm in a position where I can keep powering through all this. You know? Um, but we all got to do cool shit when this is over, man. Don't, don't go back to your normal schedule when this is over. Do some cool shit when this is done. I'm not kidding, man. Do it. Go on a trip or, or uh, buy a, a BMX bike and do a, the loop or something. I mean, dude, just do something crazy, man. Go to Vegas and play blackjack or something, you know, like, don't, uh, go skydiving or something, you know? When, I'm saying when this is over, if you can do it. Maybe we'll get more, you know, free money from the government or something. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone get their uh, Skrilla. Everyone get their uh, Stim. So I saw somebody say something today that drove me insane. And it, I hate that. Every now and then someone will say something that it crawls under my skin so bad I want to die. Like one time I saw someone on Facebook call it calling their friends uh, or no, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not calling their friends, calling their children, their littles. Oh, me and the littles are going to go see a movie. Ooh. Anyway, what I heard, uh, yesterday is uh somebody hadn't gotten their stimulus uh, check yet and they said I'm, I'm sorry i have to say this i'm sorry they wrote on all caps on uh facebook give me my stimmy Ugh! i mean i don't know what's going on has anybody else gotten their date yet give me my stimmy I almost threw this can because I thought it was empty and it's not empty. I'm really glad I didn't do that. Okay. Give me my stimmy. Shut the fuck up. All right. Let's get back into it. Sorry, we're standing around here. I'm trying to jog homeboy's memory. Where is he? Did he leave? Oh, he's right there. Oh, okay. We're going to touch the route again. See a little bit more. DP Music hasn't gotten their tax return. Hey, DP Music, it takes me... I have to, like, pull teeth all year to get mine. For some reason, every year, mine's a wash in a sea of, like, it's lost in the fucking mail or 
they don't have they they keep using old info and like stuff like that and i've fixed this so many times Quansu, you want to post a link to a Reddit post about getting DQX localized? Um, no links in the chat, please. But uh, Google, everyone Google, uh, Google that if you're interested. Sorry, we just, I, I'm not feeling links right now. But thank you. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Huh? What do you put on her head? Where is Goku? What the heck is this? I don't know who uh, is asking, but um, just something I picked up on today's raid. Oh no, you can link shop.mega64.com. That's uh, that's a self-serving douche douche style link, and that, that's what I'm I'm about. Happy birthday, sis. Huh? Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Oh. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Wow, oh, talk about ungrateful. Huh. <sighs> well, a word is that necklace has special powers. Ooh. It's probably just talk. But it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. Wait, what? Uh oh. <gasps> what the? Where did you get that from? <gasps> I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago. It became gold when she touched it. She got the mad Midas touch. Whatever. Why? Uh. Dude, she got her stimmy. I know. I noticed that, Kaido. Oh, shut up. It works. It actually works. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's the best way to support you guys? The shop, Patreon, or Twitch donations, or... Um... would say uh, you know the store probably but but I don't know patreon just depends but probably the, the store or patreon you know I think you'll get good stuff either way but anything is anything is good okay we got to touch the root one more time Dude, she's turning everything to gold. She's going to go maniacal. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> what's the matter, Eric? Jealous of my treasures? Tell you what. If you ask me really, uh -oh. really nicely, I'll let you have one. She's getting tyrannical, dude. I knew it. Let me see now. She turned a pigeon go Oh no, not a seagull. I love how he had a flashback well, to a seagull. You didn't. Yeah, I suppose it is a little small. Oh. Seriously, Mia, it's not funny. Hey, there's no need to shout. He's pissed about that seagull, dude. He's not going to let that go. I had to take a shot of that gold bird. Okay, okay, mm. I get it. <sighs> I'm sorry I lost my cool, okay? <sighs> no, yeah, no. she killed the bird. It's fine. I'll stop turning stuff into gold. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> the, 
What? Huh? What is she doing? She got like a bad itch or something? What's going on? Why won't it? What's wrong? The necklace. It won't oh. come off. Oh. Come on, Mia. Stop fooling around. I'm serious. I can't get it off. Oh, no. <gasps> what? What's happening now? Don't move. Don't move, guys. Don't. Huh? What? What the? Huh? What's going on? Daddy. She's becoming gold. I love gold. Oh no! Oh no! This is terrifying! That was scary! Gold Sister! It is kind of disturbing, isn't it? He's not happy. He's not happy about this. I'm sorry, guys. This is intense. I know. Kind of upsetting. Is that when he left home? <gasps> he boxed her up there. Is the gold statue of the sister going to be around, or did somebody take that? <gasps> That's upsetting. Where is he? Oh. It was all my fault. After what happened, I ran away. I asked around about the necklace on my travels, and finally found out what it was. He gave his sister a cursed relic. Who I was and what I'd done. So I threw myself into any adventure that came along, and bef that's when I met him. The guy who called himself the Seer. Oh. He told me to go after the orb. That if I did, I'd meet the Luminary somewhere deep underground. And that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. At first, I didn't believe a word of it. The kind of circles I was moving in, you learn pretty quickly not to trust anyone but yourself. Oh. But sure enough, I went after the orb, <gasps> I wound up underground, and I met you. Oh, I love you, Luminary. Yeah, man, I love you, Steve Jobs. It's back. Yeah, his memory. He's going to have all his attacks again because he hasn't had him in a long time. Guys. Guess I've been kind of a pain these last few days, huh? <laughs> oh, you, Eric. Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. Oh, Sister Residue, been you there. Saw it, right? The statue my sister turned into was right here. If this Gildiger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands oh, on... Oh, he did, he did. Maybe he took her too. Yeah, he took her. I heard those golden goons saying he's holed up in a castle north of here. Then it looks like we're all headed the same way. After all, we've got some Sniffleheimers to rescue, right? Yeah. <sighs> Thanks again, you guys. It's good to be back. We gotta go to the castle and get this done. Eric rejoins the party. Love that tune. I like that. I like that. Where the money at? Ha ha ha. Okay, we can fill out some skills now. Watch. The, okay, so first of all, first of all, first of all, line up. Let's get Eric back in there, okay? Hendrick, you're taking a back seat. Sorry, dog. 
Eric's back. Rocco, what do you like to drink? Uh. Stop! Nothing. Uh... What do I like to drink? I drink water straight up. Uh, if I want something sweet, I'll have this is like carbonated, basically carbonated shit, whatever, uh, with a little bit of stevia in it. The Zevia shit tastes pretty good. I think I, I'm not a fan of like uh, cholera or what is it called? LaCroix, LaCroix, whatever. Uh, LaCroix, I'm not a big fan on. This is like just tasty enough that I'll do it. Um, if I need something sweet, otherwise I drink water and I drink, like, if I want coffee, I'll have a black coffee. I don't put shit in the coffee. Okay. Let's go to the character builder. Look at that. 142 points for Eric to get, you know, get his, get his swerve on. Do you think figure releases are going to slow down or get more canceled more as the year goes on due to COVID? Well, I'm not sure because I think definitely there was a bottleneck at one point, but I don't know if we've already seen the effects of the bottle point bottle of the of the bottleneck. I can't talk, guys. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. I don't know if we've already seen those effects or if they're coming, but I can say manufacturing overseas is mostly back. Like it might have stopped for a little bit, but it's happening now. I can I can confirm that on a lot of fronts. Okay, um, I want to give him some knife powers. Yes, boom. Oh yeah. Oh, see, he already had a lot of these things, but I guess I got to get him back now. Yeah, sleeper hit. We got to get sleeper hit back. Boom. Yeah, get that victimizer cobra strike going. I agree with you, Clint. Persecutor. Yeah, that was good. That was good. We're going to get that. We're going to get that. Dual wielding. Yes, we're going to get dual wielding back. Victimizer. Or you can poison people like a snake. We got that. Bentleys and Hummers, we got that. All right. Okay, there's a car, a Hummer. Do people still call... Remember for a while there, another term for a blowjob was Hummer? Like, like yo, that guy got a Hummer from... Did people say that anymore? You guys remember that? Oh, I heard the president got a Hummer from... It's like what? What the? F what are you saying? Who the hell is saying that? I I remember hearing that a lot because they couldn't say beige on TV. All right, assassin stab. No one else remembers that. I know I'm not insane. I'm not insane. Eric's divide ability is godly. Is it? see what we got over here what's this stuff up here boomerangs I don't have a boomerang I don't care got assassin stab Critical hit chance when wielding, yes. I don't want any boomerang powers, dude. You can divide and victimize for like a bit. How do I get divide? Where's divide? Do you guys know where that is? Mm -hmm. 
Build the upper left. Okay. Got those open. Ooh, we got some new... We got itemized kill. A new attack called itemized kill. What is that, a tax thing? I will increase agility. At the end of Guile. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay, so what's that going to be in the middle? Oh, surprise! I got surprise! Okay, ten extra points. Wee. Okay, let's see what this is. Divide. Creates two doppelgangers tripling the damage done by attacks. Ooh, that's cool. I'm getting that. I'm doing that. I don't think I had that before. That's rad. Cool. Okay, I got about 20 points left. I guess I will... I'll increase my deafness. Still don't know what that is. Deafness but I'm sure it's good. All right, yeah. The uh, divide technique sounds cool. I'm going to do that. Well, let's see. We're head to the Gilden Hall near Sniffleheim. Okay. Oh, we gotta hook we gotta hook Eric up though. He's got that knife. Where's the other good knives? Or whatever. Let's add. Sword breaker, okay. Late to the party, but did you enjoy Breath of the Wild? I Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of this generation, personally. Uh, one of my favorite games in the last decade by far. I love Breath of the Wild. If you head back to Porto Valor, you can get a great knife for Eric behind a locked door. I don't want to go back there. I'll take my chances, but thank you. Any other good equipment for Eric? Okay. Let's look at that. It's that place up there. Yeah, let's try out some of this stuff. I want to check out Divide. I want to see how it works first. Oh, wait. He's he's auto-attacking. Nope. Follow my orders, please. Thank you. Thanks. up. Yeah, fuck it. Put them all to sleep. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're sleeping. Okay, so let's use divide. Boom. Ooh, that's awesome. Ooh, that's cool. Um. Take this. Boom. Oh, I didn't wake him up. That's good. Dead. None of these are group attacks, huh? Divide plus sleeper hit or persecutor. So this does six times the damage to sleeping or confused. Okay, let's try it. Watch. Oh my god! That, that, I mean, that was in the thousands. You were not joking about that. Wow. I just wanted to see it work. Dope. That was dope. Not bad. Yeah, that is the strongest strategy in the game. Oh my god. That was amazing. They just knew. They looked at each other like, mm. Mm. Ooh. Level one. So we're, we're going deep into something here. Well, guys. I think maybe we should call it right here. I've been streaming for a couple hours. I think maybe I'll give it a, a pause there. Um, since this seems pretty involved. So I want to say thank you to everybody for watching. As I mentioned before, if you like the streams, you know, hit the Twitch. You know, you got the free Amazon Prime. They give you a, a free sub every month. Hit the Twitch Prime button. Subscribe to the channel. That's cool. If you don't want to do that, shop.mega64.com. That's a great place to pick up. We got the Robo Baller shirt, Legendary Journey shirt. We got a new 64-hour special. Um, that's all good to go. Uh, can't go wrong with any of those things. Um, so check those out. Um, and patreon.com slash mega64. We got a bunch of exclusive stuff there. More streaming tomorrow? I will probably stream tomorrow. I think so. I think. Might be a little later, but um, well, I'm not sure. We'll see. But probably. I'm kind of just sitting around waiting for old episodes to export and stuff. So it's easy for me to get on right now. Sometimes it might be a little more involved, so I don't have the time. But... Um, I've been sitting around, you know, there's like four things exporting right now, so it's been easy. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I, I'm glad uh, you guys have been enjoying it in this in this hectic time, in this trying time, in this most uncertain time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I, I think I'm going to stick with Dragon Quest for a while because I want to beat this game. I want to beat it. I just don't want to burn out before Xenoblade happens. So you let me know if, I, if, I'm, if I'm on a fool's errand. Anyway, take care, guys. Have fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>